Hello everybody, Pete Nelson here from Nelson Treehouse and Supply. We have in the tree a wooden yoke ready to go. By ready to go, I mean ready for beams. I would like to demonstrate in this video how to put beams in place when you've got a yoke that is set up for a static connection. In other words, the beam that sits on top of both ends of this yoke will be attached with screws right to the yoke itself. That's called a static connection. Now, when you send a beam off to the other trees, which we have in this location, that next connection is gonna have to be dynamic. You're gonna have to allow that beam to move as the trees move in the wind. Very important, okay? So, today, it's all about hanging some beams, demonstrating how this yoke is gonna be put to use and create a perfectly sized kids treehouse, okay? Not the big, big, big tree houses, but a nice sized children's tree house that you and your mom or your dad can build in the backyard, okay? So, let's get underway. Hello again. Jake and I are now leveling the water level and you can see that the, this clear tubing is a really simple way to find level in the trees. Many times you're in an area where your level won't reach or your laser, if you're lucky to have a laser, won't reach. They don't go around trees, but these water levels do. There is a video, in fact, on exactly how to use a water level, which will allow you all to go investigate on your own. But right now, Jake and I are gonna go up into the trees and we're gonna find the level of the beams that are gonna come off of the wooden yoke. So, this is ready to go. Why don't we put you on the yoke and I'll go into the tree? Sounds like a plan. All right. So I've marked the water level here on this tree to indicate the exact location of level from the top of the yoke to the, what will be the bottom of the beam in this tree. Okay, we're doing this in this tree and we're gonna do the same thing in the other tree for the second beam, okay? Okay, the next part is installing the tab. Now, before we just jump in and install this tab at this screw level, we wanna understand that there's a little bit of subtraction that needs to happen. You know, the top of the yoke over there to the bottom of the beam at this screw level, we need to now consider the thickness of the tab one inch round stock here to get to the center of that a simple half an inch right now we also have the dynamic uplift arrestor that fits under the beam and attaches to the beam itself this is a half an inch thick so together half an inch half an inch one inch that needs to be dropped from the screw okay so i'm going to go in here one inch below the screw to accommodate for these two factors and then the beam will sit perfectly level between the top of the yoke and the tab itself. Okay, here we go. We're gonna put it in right now. I think we're there. Okay, that's it. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other tree across the way, and then we'll put some beams in the air. How about that? All right, now, we're just gonna put this baby right up in the tree. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. No, nope, let it roll. Mm. Ah, good. In our cute little boxes, the dynamic uplift arrestor. That's what goes on this end of the beam. You've got your parts and pieces right here. You may recall the half inch high density plastic. That goes on first. So I will install this by simply Lifting the beam. Whoa. Oh. Pulling it over. Just for your information, when we did the testing on the tabs in the lab, we had the weight of the beams four inches off the boss. So once again, you know, intuitively it makes sense to have your beam tight against the tree, you know, where it's not gonna leverage everything. So, so it's fine if we're out a little ways. We also have some backup cables that go higher in the tree to make this stronger. We also have struts that come down, hold up this end of the tab and give it even more strength. So 
we can demonstrate that in a bit too. But here we are with our dynamic uplift arrestor. I'm centering it. We've got a three inch beam here. This is called a glue laminated beam. It's three inches by 12 inches. And this is now going to be secured with some small screws. We're just gonna put two, one on either end. And then we've got our big screws to attach the, the uplift arrestor to. I'll show you. This is what we use to capture the tab itself, right? So there's the idea is now the beam is captured. The tree can go, you know, slide back and forth in and out. That's the whole idea. Okay, so I have some really nice six inch, they're five sixteenths, they're a star drive product that I love. And this is what's gonna help hold that beam to the top of the yoke and make it a real positive connection. I like to do a little countersinking. These big heads and such, when they're going in on an angle, make a pretty ugly mess. So I try to countersink it. In other words, that head is gonna die into this hole created with this here in a moment. So let's try that. Okay. There we go. Now this guy is nice and tight. There we go. That ought to do the trick. Now we're gonna back up the tab with what we call the strut backup. And the reason we have a strut backup, which comes down below the tab itself, is because sometimes when you have a, a cable backup that reaches higher up into the tree, and we'll be showing you that too, we would have a bit of a tripping hazard once you're up on the deck surface. So a strut goes in where, in this case, we'll have an entry to the tree house and I think we'll be coming up from over here. And if we had the cable kind of coming up in that entry area, it could present a tripping hazard. So we're gonna go with the strut backup. We've got videos on how to install these. So please feel free to go to the website and look it up. But right now I'm gonna just install this. You'll see it go along and I think you'll find it to be quite simple. So by twisting it like that, I'm expanding the distance between the two, right? And that, is locking it in up against its, the nut here and the back of the bolt down below. So twisting it nice and tight. And then I lock it with that. I could certainly put a wrench on there if we wanted, but this baby is complete. The backup strut, the cable backup. Again, we've got videos showing how to install the cable backup but we're gonna go ahead and install it here. The tab, the, the end of the tab, it's always a good idea to back it up with, with a backup. In this case, a very simple cable backup that goes higher into the tree. Well, thank you all for attending class, the yoke building class. I'm really pleased that we got to demonstrate how this typically works out in the field, so to speak, or the forest. So the yoke is meant to spread out the two beams. If you're lucky and have multiple trees, you can go to other trees. Sometimes, you know, there's room for posts in treehouse building. You know, you can post to the ground. You can use a second yoke and have your beams spread between two trees. But let's remember the yoke is all about a small treehouse, these wooden yokes. We use these same types of yokes in bigger treehouse construction, but they're steel and we use heavy limbs and it's a much bigger operation. This is to allow all of you that want to put something in your backyard that's not overly significant, but cute and fun, 
for the kids, for yourselves, a little cocktail deck, something like this. You know, that's what this is about. I hope you took something away here. It's really simple. It really is. I mean, I know we get in the weeds a little bit with this stuff, but you can do it and you should do it. It's so much fun. Get out there, build your treehouse, enjoy it, and you'll be safe, okay? Thanks for joining me.